to another video. Thanks to Expansive Worlds, we are able to check out the Bloodhounds early and show you how they work. I already bought mine and been checking them out, but to get them after you buy the DLC, which will be $3.99 US dollars, um, usually it's a dollar off the day of the release or a couple days after release for Steam at least. And you can pick what kind of fur you want on it, what coat. And this is all of them right here. That one I, I might buy another one of. And because it looks really good. And that one I really like too. But we have the black and tan full coat male. But here are all the variations. And you can have female or a male. And then once you've picked whatever color you want then you can just buy it right here and then this is where you get to name it I don't know if you can rename them so if you have something name it right the first time and we'll just do a random name because this is a beta and now we have a female and a male let's set her as active real quick see how she looks there it is right there really like that for a coat but we'll go and grab the other dog copper our one we I first bought but here's our main one on PC to interact with him hold B and when you're right up next to him where it says hold B to interact you can do all this stuff make their attentiveness go up but then when you're not close to them hold B again and you have all these other options and we'll go and see if we can find a uh, animal out here on Layton because moose like to run a long ways after being shot so should work pretty good you can see he's following us and you can make him sit Tongue's glitching out right there. I haven't had that before, but then you can have him lay down. It just looks really good. And praise. And then we'll have him follow us again. Till we find we could shoot one of those deer. Probably with a smaller gun to make him run a little bit further. But I'd like to find a moose. And yeah, I think it's their drink time right now. Yeah, it is their drink time right now. So we should be able to find one right out here. And there's one right there. We'll just run up over here. And I think we have the 303 still in my inventory from the last beta. And we got another moose over there two of them and a bunch of elk so it's just and they can push you around too so we'll just shoot her we need to get her broadside and get a lung because they will still go a ways with a lung shot I guess we could get a lung from this angle actually I thought she was facing away but we'll show how they do tracking Try and get along here. Hit him as a bunch of times. Make sure we get something, and it is going to start going down now. And depending on what level your dog is, tracking skill, um, it will sense the blood from further away or not be able to sense it from very far. But blood trail should be right there, so we'll hit B and then hit track and it says searching for blood and it will run up to it and then once it finds it it will be tracking it and it will go and follow that blood trail at first when I first started using the dog 
it wasn't any faster than me but then the more you level it up it actually stays ahead of you in tracking usually you can see right there he's staying ahead of us following that trail we could shoot another one over there but we'll get this down I'll show you the perks the dog has to make it even better when you're leveling it up and if you tell the dog to sit or lay down there's a moose right there it's going right up to it if you tell the dog to sit or lay down or stay he will stay there at least at my, the current level he's at right now he'll stay there until you get 50 meters away from him and then he'll come straight to you but now you see he's barking now that he found it and we'll just pick that up and we did get the lung of that first shot and we'll pet him and then we'll go into our settings menu and these are our traits for the dog here's our status and you can see some of these look like they'll be pretty useful your dog will have a chance of sensing an animal when it's about to spook and you can when you're at level 15 he can howl and all the way up to here where it can actually ward off predator attacks at level 30 we have a bunch of those and we can well, let's click through them if you want to see them but that's pretty cool I like how they've done this especially since this is just their first time doing dogs they've done done very well in my opinion you can see all these and ours is at level 7 companion then tracker right there level 4 but let's see make him stay and then when we get 50 meters away from him, let's put a marker on him. And they do have a little icon that looks like yours when you're sitting there. And there's a new icon for that marker. And once we're about 50 meters away, you'll see he'll start running in. You can see he's healing now. And... So that's another little thing that they do. Let's take that off the map. Maybe shoot another animal right over here. Then we'll go and check them out in the lodge. They have a dog bed in the lodge. They don't get to walk around, but it's really cool to see them in there. Here we are in our lodge, or outside of it rather. And another thing I forgot to mention is when they're behind stuff, they actually have a purple outline. Uh, you might be able to change the color in settings. They do have an outline when they're behind something. And I don't think they can move from the bed, but they have a bed and a food bowl at this part of Saseka Safari Trophy Lodge. You can see him right here. And you can't interact with him here, but. I haven't went to the other lodge yet to see where he sits in there. We'll go over there real quick. Alright, we're in the Spring Creek Manor Lodge and it looks like he's over here. Sitting over in this corner. And it looks pretty good. Overall, I think they're really good looking. and. A really good start to dogs in Call of the Wild. I think they integrated them very well. I'll be interested to see how they work on multiplayer, but so far on single player, I haven't had any issues or bugs with them. And just really well done. And hope you enjoyed. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.